Hi folks, welcome back to the horde. You can tell spring is here, I'm already being chased around by bees. So it's about 4 o'clock on the 8th, Monday, 65 degrees. Warmest day so far this year here in the Hudson Valley. My um, batteries just swapped from um, charge to, from charging to, or charge to um, not the sun's sliding behind the house up there. There's my Fighting Irish clock for anybody who likes the Fighting Irish there. Anyway, um, been doing a little looking and figuring and looking at my golf cart hoard and trying to trying to determine what I'm going to do. And I think I got the front end figured out on this thing. I am going to put kind of a um, dropped section. This is coming right out of here. I'm going to put in a drop section send that a little further underneath so that the tires where it should be uh, use the original shocks and the rack and pinion it might take a little while to figure it out but I'll manage it and as a matter of fact I'm probably gonna have to move this forward a little bit so I got that figured good show about the engine uh, unfortunately I'm still scratching my head on this thing I'm, uh, I really, I hate to throw away a good drive chain. I'm, I'm going to poke around with a little bit more tomorrow before I make my absolute decision. So, Judgment Day, the, um, it only got half its judgment. Uh, while I was walking around, there's a couple of things that I, I want to kind of get a little tape on just for my own edification, like what's in here. I kind of keep some of my engine hoard in here. Uh, where are we? Can you recognize any of these engines? Oh, a little further back, folks. Um, that's a 200 or a 185. That's a 110 or a 90. Um, obviously a Harbor Freight back there. And then in that box, the wooden box, I think is another 200. So yeah, I got a few engines floating around in here. I also have some shelf space that I need to make some better use of. On that lower shelf state space, I got a starter for a golf cart. I think there's some golf cart parts, some front end pieces. Um, but I, I do need to make better use of this space. That Honda there, Somebody abandoned it in the barn for when I bought the house, but it's got some interesting pieces on it. It's got a front disc brake, which um, those components could be handy. The cables are good. Uh, the engine's about done with compression, but it does have a, um, a shifter and a kickstarter and shocks, and so it does have some stuff that's worthwhile. I think the tires at this point more or less are crap. Um, that tractor was the one I used not last year, but the year before. I used the Kubota most of last year. The deck is kind of shot on it. The rest of the tractor is cool. I've, uh, that tractor has been, it's kind of a special tractor for me. I, um, I was at a, kind of a low point in my life, and I, uh, I was going by a lawnmower shop, and they had it on the side of the road with a free sign on it so I loaded it up myself and got it home and sure enough the engine had a thrown rod so I put another engine on there that I got for 40 bucks at a car show and that that tractor was kind of a little a little therapeutic to me so I'm uh, I, I gotta get that back rolling again don't want to get rid of it a couple of quads in the back the red one and there's a yellow one I don't know how well you can see it maybe if I go up here like that you can see it um, two flea market hits. They were both so cheap. I kind of ended up with them. If I ever have grandchildren, they'll they'll play with those. I think they have the one of them has the equivalent of the Honda 70. Um, I think the yellow one has the equivalent of the Honda 70 with um, automatic. I think it's a single speed. I think the red one is like a Honda 110. The equivalent, Chinese, of course, um, 110 with, um, I think that's got a four speed. Um, it's been a little while since I looked at them. Some more engines, a couple of pressure washers and a generator without a power head. Another pressure washer. 
that's one of those string trimmer things and a little mini bike I bought that for myself I think when did I get that last year around my birthday in May so well maybe two years ago in May um, it was a non-runner from tractor supply as is it's a hundred bucks I gotta tell you I wrote it wrote it around one day wide open it gave me the hundred dollars worth of joy just from that um, golf carts front ends on golf carts this guy here is a club car you can tell club cars because they're kind of made out of aluminum I think they're the only ones made out of aluminum this one here obviously the rack and pinion is kind of kind of um, wrecked a bit this one is also missing some ignition components um, which is why it's currently not running it's interesting they have a um, spring across the front shocks and um, because of the proportionality here your tires do stay on the ground they don't tuck so um, that is something to think about if I'm looking for donation parts so that's an easy go gas powered needs ignition parts this is a Yamaha obviously and this one even says where it's from does it? Yeah, yeah, it does. I don't know. Did you guys see that? Oh, now could you see it? Palisades Interstate Interstate Park Commission. This guy here, Yamaha, no engine. Oh, missing an engine. But it does have forward and reverse, so it is a good candidate to put to put some little gas engine in. This is an electric. I think it's an easy go. Yep, easy go. 19 um, nothing in it I saw one where a guy wanted to put a gas engine on one of these and what he did was he took the electric motor and basically gutted it took all the guts out of the electric motor there uh, cut a hole in the side of it uh, put a sprocket in there ran a chain from the sprocket outward bolted a motor right there where that power box is and uh, he had himself in a, a gas-powered electric golf cart, so to speak. This is another club car. You can tell because it's aluminum. This one's electric. Um, you can kind of see the proportionality. I think you can see it, maybe. You see the uh, suspension on the bottom. And as that bumps up and down, it, it keeps everything... Um, set up such that your your caster and camber keeps your tires on the ground they don't go all squ squirrely um that one's more or less complete if it had batteries i think it would go you guys have seen the warrior that somebody put a four-cylinder engine on um that front end could be interesting for another project we have another easy go here This one here is a little different. The, um, the motor is bolted directly into the differential. So it direct drives the differential. That would be another one that it would, um, to make it interesting, you would gut the motor and put a chain drive. That, would, that might be a little harder. The motor might have, have to sit on top, or but then where does the seat go? Yeah, this one would be a little harder to do much with. Um, I'm just looking at all those cables there. Because one of the other golf carts needs wires. This guy is a complete unit. Its problem is it doesn't... Um, supposedly it runs on one cylinder. But from sitting it needs a little more attention than that. The carburetor last, last I touched it was seized up. That one over there... You're familiar with this. This is kind of rusty. Um, this guy over here, the Yamaha, it's a two-stroke. Um, doesn't do forward and reverse. Um, mostly, I think it just sat. I think it belonged to a college marching band or something, or a high school marching band. The color code is um, obviously black, red, and white. Um, parts 
I didn't tell you about these two. This guy is complete. She runs and the frame is completely rotted out. This corner, the, the there's real, virtually no frame from the seat to where the back wheel goes. If you look underneath there, it's completely gone. I guess that's where the battery sits and it's gone. This guy here, um, to be honest with you, I think it's a Yamaha, but I'm not exactly the story. You can see the last time it uh, it did anything for a living. That just can't be fair up in Rhinebeck. Um, it's obviously gas powered, but I don't know currently what's under the hood. I think nothing. I think nothing. What I would like to do, honestly, is uh, a couple of the electric ones. Just bolt a couple of, you know, Predator motor in each one of them. And uh, maybe uh, turn them into demolition derby cars. Hook up with some friends. Chase each other around the uh, property bumping into each other. Till, um, till they're no longer. Because they are pretty ratty, pretty rusty. Not much left to them. So um, that would be a good way to finish them off. All right, folks, um, I think this is going to be it for today. Don't forget, live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. And uh, remember, tires down, handlebars up. Take care now.